Secretary General of the People's Democratic Organization for Independence and Socialism, PDIS, Halifa Salah, on Sunday said the last December presidential election results and the recently held parliament election reflect the country's electoral dynamics. Mr. Salah made these remarks at a press conference convened by PDIS and APP and Youth for Change to update the nation on the second phase of the electoral process. Moses E. Mende has the details in this report. Last month, Gambians went to the polls in the parliamentary election which saw 53 legislators elected for a five-year term, while President Adam Obaro nominated five others for the National Assembly job. The dust of the parliamentary election has finally settled, but it has left some lessons that the Doi party learned. Khalifa Salah is the Secretary General of Doi. So, essentially, uh, it is important for this strategy in finding candidates. It does not mean that in National Assembly elections, you will find candidates in all constituencies. But tactically and strategically, you may be able to find lesser candidates and still have greater impact in the decision-making process in the National Assembly. That is one lesson we have drawn. Mr. Sala analyzed the inconsistency of the presidential and parliamentary election results for each party and independent candidates in terms of the popular vote and underlined that voters can be very flexible in voting. Therefore, all parties need to go back to the drawing board. Independent candidates vied for lesser seats than both the majority and the minority party, but won 12 seats in the National Assembly with a popular vote of 107,000. As for Mr. Sala, this reflects that the electoral dynamics of the country are not on a partisan base. He says political parties are changing and so does candidates. Many candidates are becoming independent candidates and many parties are actually not filing in basically the members of their parties based on their conviction on the programs of parties that are also following the trend of finding who can win in a constituency and then select those people to be their candidates. That is becoming a trend. It's not exactly the trend, but it's becoming a trend. Switching to the type of democracy in the Gambia, he said Gambian electorates are hooked to formal democracy rather than substantive democracy, which leaves room for incompetent candidates to be elected based on popularity instead of competence. Substantive democracy, also referred to as functional democracy, is a form of democracy that functions in the interest of the governed. Although a country may allow all citizens of aid to vote, this characteristic does not necessarily qualify it as a substantive democracy. In such a democracy, this state is not merely set up as a democracy, but it functions like one as well. Formal democracy is a democratic system in which the supreme power is vested in the people and exercised by them, directly or indirectly, through a system of representation usually involving periodically held free elections. Moses Mendy, African News.